Hey, what's up guys? It's Therese. Welcome back to my channel. So today I am finally doing my updated um, TWA, Taper TWA wash and go for you guys. This video is super highly requested. So um, I've already done one for y'all. However, I am substituting some products and you know, it's just time to do an updated routine for you guys. So a little preliminary information for you all. I had a blonde buzz cut for about, well actually it was from May to August was the last time that I actually shaved my hair, shaved my head rather. So I had a blonde buzz cut and like I said, the beginning of August was the last time that I did that. So I am, I would say I am four months um, post big chop if you will. I've already washed and conditioned my hair so I'm just gonna take this off. And in the vlog that I just recently posted, um, I did show you guys the process of me getting my hair cut. I took y'all with me to the barbershop and um, I just showed you guys how he cuts my hair. So this is it right now. Um, it looks a little crazy, obviously, because <laughs> it's not done, but it is a little damp. So I'm just gonna go ahead and show you guys exactly what I do to make my curls pop, girl. So the first step that I do is I use a leave-in conditioning spray and I go back and forth in between two of them so this one before I ran out this is the damage the dark and lovely damage slayer leave-in spray and you guys this stuff first of all if you don't follow me on Instagram you should go ahead and do that because I'm always talking about products that I am in love with currently on my insta stories but you guys this stuff this whole damage slayer line I rave about it all of the time on Instagram it is literally and I don't say this lightly, but this is the best hair care line that I've ever used in my life. So this dark and lovely damage layer, I used this leave-in spray and then I was using this until I ran out and then my specific beauty supply store stopped carrying this line for whatever reason. They're carrying it now, so haha. <laughs> but after I ran out of that one, I picked up this Aunt Jackie's um, flaxseed half and half hydrating silkening hair milk. So I am back and forth in between these to, it really just depends on what I feel like my hair needs and sometimes I can use both of them and so that's what I'm gonna do today just for the sake of this video um, so I'm gonna take my Aunt Jackie's half and half hydrating silkening hair milk first so I'm just gonna spray this all in my hair and make sure that I get it nice and saturated now you don't really kind of like want it dripping wet you just want it super saturated oh my hair is getting thick you guys wow and you know what I'll say this the difference between this time um, being natural and then the last time that I was natural is that last time I was kind of obsessive with me tracking my growth um, but this time it's just not that big of a deal to me because I already you know kind of been through this process or whatever and the fact that I'm not really keeping track of my growth you guys it's like I wake up one day and my hair is so much longer than it was like a week ago. It's really crazy. So this is four months of progress. Um, I say I'm doing pretty good. Now the, I will say the only thing that I don't like about this specific product is the nozzle, um, the sprayer or whatever. It's not like super easy to use. Um, but I really like that stuff. It kind of detangles. So as you can see, like I can rub my fingers through it easily. And that's a really good thing. So now I'm gonna take my dark and lovely um, leave-in spray and I'm gonna do the same thing. Now this sprayer I do like because it's like super easy to spray and it comes out very evenly. So I'm just gonna spray this all over and make sure my hair is nice and saturated. And this stuff, you guys, it detangles like a freaking dream. This whole like damage slayer line, I swear by it. And I promise I'm not being sponsored or anything like that. I just really, really love this hair care line. All right, so now we're gonna get into the fun stuff. Um, once my hair is all saturated and filled with the leave-in conditioners and all that stuff, I'm gonna use a cream and then I'm gonna follow up with the gel and that's literally all I do for um, this specific routine. So I'm gonna be using the ORS Curls Unleashed coconut and avocado curl smoothie. This one is the yellow jar. Of course, you guys, I will have all of these products linked down below in the description box for you guys. I'll have it um, in my Amazon store so it is easily accessible to you all. So I'm gonna take a good amount of this and I'm just going to apply it all through my hair. Make sure that, you know, I get every strand. It's really not 
anything in particular you guys I literally just put this in my hair and once I feel like it's all you know nice and moisturized that's what I love about this ORS um, curls unleash line I've worked with them before now this specific video isn't sponsored or you know like my I talk about these products a lot on Instagram as well my stories are never sponsored and I have a lot of people you know saying that oh you know you just post these products just because they're paying you to do so they're absolutely not even though I wish they were <laughs> I just really really love these lines and these products you guys and my man loves them you know like he has curls I put my sister on them both of my sisters like they both use these curls unleashed products and they both use the damage slayer line and I'm telling you you guys like they're so good I swear everybody I turn on to these products they come back to me and say oh my god like you were totally right and I'll be like I know I told you <laughs> So this is looking pretty good. It's very, very, the cream is very moisturizing and you want to put a, oh no. <gasps> oh my gosh, you guys, I just spilled almost this whole entire, look at this. Oh my God, that is like, that was my biggest fear. I knew I was going to do that one day. It was bound to happen. I am the clumsiest person. Oh my gosh. Okay, it's not that big of a deal. I can like scoop it up and put it back in here. Oh, Larissa. Okay, well, this is what we're gonna do. I'm gonna put all of this messy stuff in my hair now so I don't waste it. And that is a lot of gel that, that I just had to put in my hair. But I was saying that you wanna layer a cream or you wanna layer a gel on top of the, of the cream so your curls can be super moisturized under the gel because gels, you know tend to have a lot of alcohol in them and they dry your hair out and stuff like that so you definitely want to put the gel on top of a cream so this gel that i'm using is from the rs curls unleash line of course and this is the coconut and shea butter curl amplifying gel souffle i love this stuff as you can see my curls are super moisturized and defined girl and like ugh, i'm telling you these ors products are the bomb so now what i do that that's it for the products basically now what I do is just kind of go in and fine-tune my hair meaning I like to use a kind of like a medium uh, tooth comb it's not a fine tooth and it's not like a wide tooth it's kind of in between so I just like to go in and detangle and this will kind of just make my curls clump together you know like it'll um, pull the product through and it'll kind of just make everything less frizzy when it dries and that's also what I really love about these RS curls and leash products you guys your frizz is kept at a minimum so if you go in and layer like all of these products together most likely like nine times out of ten you're not going to have any frizz at all yeah so I kind of start from the back and then since my hair is getting longer now I kind of just section it off and comb it through by sections. And as you can see, my comb is literally just gliding straight through them curls. So I'm just gonna keep doing it until I get to the front. And then I'll tell you how, or I'll show you how I zhuzh it together so it's not looking like a, you know, like a flat pancake. <laughs> Okay, so now I just kind of run my fingers through it um, and, you know, kind of get the gaps or the parts out of there that I made with the comb. And I really honestly need to probably redefine this part because it's been a few days since I've gotten my hair cut. And my part, like my hair grows super fast in general, but this part especially, it's like, ugh. So then I just go in and fine tune some things. Maybe I'll, you know, do a couple of finger coils. Um, but the key to not having frizz is one, using these RS products. <laughs> and then two, I'm one to always have my hands in my hair. Like I'm always twisting and pulling at my hair for whatever reason. I don't know. I, 
I don't know why I do that, I just do. Um, but when you have your hands or your fingers in your hair all the time, it creates frizz. So I'm trying to do a lot less of, you know, this. I'll just take some, pull it when it's dry and that'll create the frizz. Now you can do it when it's wet, which is kind of what I'm doing now. You guys, this is literally all I do. Okay, so this is it. Now I'm about to show you um, kind of how I do my edges because y'all know I have to have them edges laid, girl. All right, you guys, so I used to use Got To Be Gel for my edges to do my little swoops or whatever or my baby hairs. However, that stuff has a ton of alcohol in it and it is literally like glue for your hair. So I have been kind of on a hunt to find the best edge control um, just because I really don't care for edge controls. They don't really hold as strongly as I would like them to. Um, but I've heard time and time again about this specific edge gel. This is the um, Style, Factor, Style Factor Edge Booster. And it says Stronghold Water-Based Pomade. And this is a lemon berry scent. I got it clearly because it was pink. <laughs> and this is what I do. Okay, so you guys are gonna laugh at me. I take a spoolie. This is an eyebrow pencil. Um, and I just take the spoolie on the back of it because the spoolie is kind of, um, it's, it's hard, okay? Like it has a really good hold. But then more recently, because this one can kind of take out your edges if you're not careful or take out your hair if you're not careful, I just use this double-ended um, edge brush and comb. So let me show you how I do my edges really quickly. I zoomed y'all in so y'all can get a good seat you know, to the show, the edge show girl. <laughs> but here's my hair up close. I know you guys probably want a close up anyway, but this is it. And they do stay shiny like this all day. It like, even when it dries, it looks so good. And that's just because of these RIS products. So, you know, I'll just take this side of the comb or the edge thing and I'll kind of comb through the curls just to give them more definition, you know, kind of like raise them up a little bit. So I like to start on this side and this is what I do. I use my nail to scoop some out of, or scoop some of this edge gel out of the jar. And then I just put some right here, put some right here. You guys, this edge control is literally the bomb. Like, and it has a really good hold. The only thing that I don't like about it or that I don't care for about it, about it rather, is that it's clearly not as good of a hold as got to be is um and then if you're not careful it could you or it could um create a white cast if you use too much so i just try to use it sparingly now i'm going to take my the comb side of the edge tool and i'm just going to kind of do my swoops this way just to kind of get the hair to go in the direction that I want it to go. Now I'm gonna take my spoolie and just create my swoop and my foundation is going to mess up. And then on this side, I'm gonna go this way. And you guys, the, the edges is like, this is really all just personal preference. You can do it however your little heart desires, but this is what I like to do with my edges because I am just, you know, a little extra. So then I'll take this right here and swoop this the opposite way, except for this side of my hair. Like my hair in general is getting too long for me to kind of do this. It was cuter when my hair was shorter, but now that it's getting a little longer it's like okay girl you taking it a little too far but now i'm gonna do this part right here actually i'm gonna use the comb to bring the hairs in place and you see that just kind of curling up like it just i really just let it do whatever like it wants to my curls have a mind of their own so i just kind of go with the flow and do it like that and then on the other side, I'm gonna do the same thing. Kind of just like brush it, comb it in place. Take your spoolie. And this one, I do double swoops on this side. I don't know why, I just, I think it's super cute like that. I take it and I do one of these numbers. It's really all about just playing with your hair and doing whatever you like. And normally when I do this, I don't have on <laughs> makeup. So right now I'm getting makeup in my hair, which isn't cute. So be careful 
not to do that like me and yeah you guys that's literally how I do my edges it's not a science to it it's just doing whatever makes you feel good about yourself and doing my edges like this makes me feel cute so yeah all right you guys and that is all I did to my hair now I'll take the brush and kind of brush around the perimeter of it just so you know the back can lay flat and um, you should go back and watch my latest vlog just so you can see how he does my back and stuff like that I can't really turn around because I spilled my gel and there's literally like a perimeter of gel but this is all I do you guys maybe I'll take some oil sheen this is the Cantu Shea Butter oil sheen deep conditioning spray and I'll just take it and do a, a couple of sprays like that just because I like my curls to look a little shiny okay so I'm going to very quickly clean up this line off camera and then I'll be right back all right you guys so that brings us to the end of this tutorial I really hope that you enjoyed it I know that it was super duper quick but this is all that I do every single time I do my hair so if you have any questions make sure you leave them down below in the comment section and I will be sure to answer you also make sure you check the description box and check out my Amazon um, website I have that link down below as well so that you can purchase all of the products or any of the products that I talked about today make sure you go back and check my last vlog as well just so you can see uh, my whole entire haircut in general. Thank you guys so much for your love and your support. You guys are so consistent with it and I appreciate you so much. You guys, we are almost, we're almost at 100,000 subscribers. So I'm super excited. I love you guys so much and I will see you in my next video. Mwah! Bye.